juicing, 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 chopping, 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 juicing, 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 it's hard. Yep. Shut up, Uni. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Chris Bauer, um, and it is October shit. I don't have my watch, but I remember. It's October 30th, 2019, and this is day 21 of the Cafe Neckbeard Celery Menu Winter 2020 Anticipation Juice Cleanse. And I am the PR representative and procurement specialist of Cafe Neckbeard, and I am really proud to be here and the fact that I've made it to 21 days. I'm the legal age of drinking alcohol in America days through my celery juice experience. And I know that yesterday was a little bit controversial. If you watch the videos, I made a confession. Maybe it was the day before, I'm not sure. I made a confession that, that I wasn't maybe properly participating in what might be like a official juice cleanse and the fact that I was um, not actually only consuming and there's like so many rules and I had no idea that, you know, that when you entered a kind of a, a subculture that there were like rules and rituals and things that you're supposed to follow. And when you use phrase uh, verbiage and phraseology and um, verbiology that people are like, no man, if you say this, it means this. And I'm from a world, maybe it's just from being from the restaurant world where you just kind of use terminology however you want and you define, you'd be like, no, this is this. And be like, no, it's not the season that you think. And here it's in season somewhere. So it, everything can be spring or everything can be local, you know what I mean? You're sort of using these terminologies and like, you know, besides some things to do with like food allergies, there's not really any like legal ramifications for it. It's more just like a little bit, I don't know, it's poetic license. You know, there's sort of a um, kind of a unwritten rule of freedom, you know, it's that was maybe a little bit more of that kind of America. But anyway, um, I'm really excited to be here today. I'm really excited to learn about this. And one of the things that I've been learning about, you know, kind of like retroactively, was that we we started looking, but we, Chef Anton started becoming curious about celery because of the history of celery and the, um, the complexity of flavors that celery can bring to a meal, sometimes without ever actually knowing that it's in there. And when you start doing some research into how celery came to be, you know, the world's most popular vegetable at certain times in history, you kind of wonder why, and is it because of the complex flavors? And part of it has to do with that, but also it has to do with difficulty as far as like, it's very difficult to grow and if something is hard to obtain, it takes on a certain kind of cultural value and then has some sort of currency um, based on like supply and demand and all those things. And when something has um, sort of an esteemed status in the culture, it can be more expensive. And if it's more expensive, sometimes it's more in, more in demand. And that's one of the questions that we grappled with uh, last year when we did, when Chef Anton did his show about hamburgers or ambergris or um, ambergris. Uh, it's, I just call it hamburgers. Um, is that do people actually like this or is it just rare? And it's like, hey, okay, well, no, celery is not rare anymore, but maybe it was. Um, but that's not the only reason why celery was um, really important in sort of culinary history. There's also uh, a lot of beliefs about its curative power and um, what it can do to your stomach. And just like 2019, in 1879, people were really wanted to have better stomach function and also they didn't want to die. 
and it's no different in 2019. Um, and people want to live forever and they also want to live forever with, while not having like, you know, bad stomach problems and also um, being able to better control their weight with the food they eat and all this stuff. It's like celery juice. One of the reasons why people are doing these celery juice cleanses, like people like me, and I didn't even start doing it this way, is that celery juice, and this is not a disclaimer, I'm not a food scientist or anything like that, nor do I know that much at all. I'm just living life through this experience. So that's my experience. So put that on my resume, is that I don't have a college degree, but I do have a lot of know-how from actually doing it. Uh, and um, not that I don't respect academic studies, I do, I do, I do, I do, I'm sorry. I'm coming off as a little bit defensive here and I understand. I've been getting a lot of letters mm, through the mail for some reason. I haven't even put my address out, but I've gotten a lot of um, addresses. Some of them are kind of mean, some of them are citing um, some comedy skits by um, Tim and Eric, who I've, I know about, and they're cool. Um, cooler than me and um, but they I guess they have a thing about celery and I guess I I'm not trying to be funny here I'm just trying to just do, live my life and I'm not trying to compete with anybody or anything like that um, I'm great and celery juice is making me greater I'll be cocky this morning your stomachs make acids of some kind and sometimes if they don't have enough of them and so sometimes when your stomach has bad acids, it doesn't do a great job of uh, digesting your food. <coughs> yeah, it might be getting a cold. So celery juice replaces the good acids in your stomach. And so sometimes when you're drinking celery juice every morning, like, like me, or doing a proper juice cleanse in which you're only drinking celery juice and that's the only thing you're doing for 30 days or whatever, which sounds crazy to me, you are replacing your entire body. And that's what I've been talking about. It's kind of cool. It's like sometimes you read books and you're like, I already knew that. You're like, you're reading like the history of Catherine the Great and you're like, I already knew that somehow. It doesn't make any sense what you could do. Or they instinctively knew what was going to happen next, you know. Um, and that's just called, you know, forecasting and just like forecasting the uh, for forecasting comprehension. Um, and sometimes we're just like we just have awareness, and that's something that's really interesting. And it, that's why it's worth like kind of confirming through books the things that you already know. And I was like, man, my body is transforming. I feel like things are being replaced. And one of the things I found out is that I'm gonna make a little confession here is that I have over the last, and I haven't talked about it in this video blog, but like I have been passing a lot of gas in the last like two weeks. And I was sort of wondering, that's strange. I'm supposed to be better. And I feel, I don't know. And the thing about it is that the actual gas smelled like, you know, let's see, what's the right way of saying it? Um, you ever encountered like, like a, a, a deer carcass in the woods or live in a really crappy apartment building where someone in the building expired and then went sour um, and you're like, man, what does that smell? We gotta call the sheriff. Or we find a body in the woods that's not a human and you're like, do we call the sheriff? I don't know. It's a pretty bad smell. And when it's coming out of you, you're like, should I call the sheriff? Um, and other people are on the train and stuff like that that are around you might be like trying to call the sheriff or the local police or something like that because it's terrible. I started realizing as I started reading that that's your body is expelling the bad acid. Like the bad trip that your body is going through, celery juice is saying goodbye. It's the vessel, it's the water, like crashing towards the dam. It's gonna take down that wall of negativity 
and then drive or paddle that bad stuff out of town. Where is it gonna go? Well, it's gonna go out into the world, you know, but you know, there's no such thing as a racing, you know, there's, everything is an ebb and flow. And I know this is getting like super philosophical and super technically scientific, but I just wanted to tell everybody, just like, whoa, this stuff is complicated. And it's happening to me. Something amazing is happening to me. And that's just great. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get a little bit of weather report. Um, I slept great. I had, you know, like really amazing dreams. I was, you know, it was a carnival. I had, uh, there was like a pickup truck. My grandpa, and then um, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, and then, and then the drag, and then it comes through, and then and like the, the champagne, and then they come coming through, and then the and then the Harleys, and like I'm coming through, and then the Harleys, and then the Harleys, and then the Harleys, and then the Harleys, and and then we finally got grandpa it. said, be like, welcome home! And it was about 40 degrees. And if you look behind you today, there's, you see that there's brand new celery. And also uh, there's some peppers that I picked yesterday. And tomorrow's video, I think is gonna have a lot more peppers. I'm, uh, I have uh, thousands of them. I have, if you see, here's a, here's a bowl right there. That's just like, it's just barely the start of it here. But this is like about one eighth of what I have here. And there's so many more. So we're gonna talk more about that. Uh, well, here's also a reminder that if you do come to Cafe Neckbeard, it's cash only! Day 21, October 30th, 2019. Let's take this day on. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit manic today. This is just kind of a crazy time. I'm having an awesome time. I'm just, I'm, I'm like in the middle of a book and I'm like coming to the book club and I've only read half the book and I'm like, let's talk about this book. And then someone else is gonna be able to be like, you have to read the rest of it. And you're like, well, I'm alive now. October 30th, 2019. My name is Chris Bauer. Let's take this on day 21. And you'll see I have a healthy, full pint, not an imperial pint, but a pint of celery juice for today. Take care out there. Oh boy. Mm.